Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering three topics. They are context management, what is use of exe info function and standard exceptions in python. Guys, I have uploaded a complete python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain context management. In any programming language, the usage of resources like files and database is very common. For example, if you consider language like C, even in C programming, we use files. So, the usage of resources like files and database is very common in any programming language. Therefore, the main problem lies in making sure that to release these resources after the usage. That is nothing but, for example, I open file, then definitely we need to close that file. If you don't close that file, then our system may slow down or crash. In order to overcome this problem, we use context managers. By using context managers, we can automatically close that file. For example, there is one text file in local disk D. The text file name is hello.txt. Now I want to add text, my name is Nagendra, into my file hello.txt. I will write program for this. My file name is hello.txt and my file is present in local disk D. By using open function, you can open any file. So I written here a equal to open. Inside open function, I am writing my file is present in local disk D and my file name is hello.txt. So write here D colon slash hello.txt in double quotations. This is my file. I want to add text. My name is Nagendra into my file hello.txt. By using write mode, we can add text. So open this file in write mode and take this in double quotations. We open this file in write mode. And next, I want to add text. My name is Nagendra. By using write method, we can add any text. And my file is present in object A. So write here A dot write. This is method. Inside write method, I am writing text, my name is Nagendra, where my name is Nagendra is string. So take my name is Nagendra in quotations. Whenever you run this line of code, it will add text, my name is Nagendra into your file. After performing operation, we need to close our file. By using close method, we can close file. So write here a dot, because my file is present in object a, so write here a dot close. So it will close your file. For example, there is an exception occurred while writing this line of code. Whenever any exception occur while writing this line of code, then it will stop execution here and it will not close this file. The main problem lies in making sure to release these resources after usage. Whenever you use any resource, definitely we need to release resources after usage. But if you don't release these resources, then your system may slow down or crash. Here in this example, whenever exception occurred while writing this line of code, it will not close this file. But whenever we don't close our file, then our system may slow down or crash. So in order to overcome this problem, we use context managers. Context managers are classified into two types. They are try and finally construct. And next one is with construct. Both are used for resource management. So we can also call this context management as resource management because they are used to manage resources. At first, I will explain try and finally approach. Same example which I took before. I written here a equal to open, inside open function I written hello.txt in quotations, comma, I want to add text, my name is Sai into my file hello.txt, so open this file in write mode, whenever you run this line of code, it will open file hello.txt in write mode, now I want to add text, my name is Sai into my file, take try block, inside try block write a dot write, take double quotations and inside double quotations you need to write my name is Sai. Whenever you run this line of code, it will add text, my name is Sai into my file hello.txt. Guys, definitely write here a dot because my file is present in object a. So definitely write here a dot write. Again, take finally block. Inside finally block, I written a dot close. By using close method, we can close our file. My file is present in object a. So I written here a dot close. So if there is an exception or not, this finally block is always executed. Inside finally block, I written a dot close. If there is no exception, then successfully it will execute code which is present in try block and it will close this file. If there is no exception, then successfully it will add my name is Sai into my file hello.txt and it will close my file. For example, if there is an exception while writing this line of code, even though exception occurred while writing this line of code, then successfully it will close my file. Though if there is an exception or not, inside try block, this finally block is always executed. This is use of try and finally approach. Next I will explain which statement approach. I written a equal to open hello.txt in write mode. This is with statement approach. So I took here with this file is present in object a. 
So I written here with A. Give colon. Inside this I written A dot write. My name is Sai. Which statement will automatically close my file. So there is no need of writing A dot close. For example, if there is no exception while writing this line of code. So it will add text. My name is Sai into my file hello.txt. And it will automatically close my file. For example, exception occurred while writing this line of code. Even though it will close my file automatically. This is use of which statement approach. Context management can be done in two ways. First one is by using try and finally approach and next one is which statement approach. Next I will explain exe info function. The exe info function is used for obtaining information about an exception. For example, if any exception occurred in our program, then this exe info function will provide information about exception that has been occurred. In order to use this exe underscore info function, at first you need to import this module. This function returns a tuple of three values that gives information about exception that currently being handled. This exe underscore info function will display output in the form of tuple. That is nothing but it will display output in normal brackets. And this tuple contains three values. They are first one is type, next one is values and third one is traceback. Type is basically class object. Type gets the exception being handled. For example, zero division error occurred in our program. This type will display output class zero division error. Next one is values. Values gets the exception parameters. And last one is traceback. Traceback gets a traceback object. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is use of this exe underscore info function. This is the example. In order to use exe underscore info function, at first you need to import this module. So at first I return import sys. And next I return a equal to 10 and b equal to 0. Now inside try block I return print a by b. I already said before, we cannot divide any number by 0. If we divide any number by 0, it will display exception. Inside try block I return print a by b. And next inside accept block I return print sys dot where sys is this module name. So sys dot exe underscore info. Where this exe underscore info is function, so take brackets. This is program. We cannot divide any number by 0. It will skip this try block and it will execute accept block. Accept block contains statement that is print sys dot exe underscore info. I already said before, exe underscore info function will display output in the form of tuple. Inside normal brackets, it, it will display three values. They are first value is type. Type is nothing but class object. So you will get output class zero division error. And next one is values. Values gets the exception parameters. This is my output. 0 division error and this is reason division by 0 and last one is traceback traceback gets a traceback object so you will get output traceback object at this is address this example exception occurred inside try block this is address traceback object will display address where exception has been occurred so you will get output traceback object at 0x 7x 5 6 so on this is address this exe underscore info function is used to provide information about exception that has been occurred and it will display output in the form of tuple and inside tuple, it will display three values. They are first one is type, that is nothing but class object. And next one is values, that is nothing but exception parameter. And last value is traceback object. It will display address where exception has been occurred. Next, I will explain standard exceptions in Python. We also call these standard exceptions as built-in exceptions because these exceptions are already present in Python. Zero division error and next indentation error, syntax error, import error. All these are examples of standard exceptions because these exceptions are already present in Python. So whenever any exceptions occur in our program, it will display those exceptions. For example, here I written a equal to 10 and b equal to 0. Whenever I write here print a by b, I will get output 0 division error. And next example, I took here for loop for i in range of 1 comma 10. Actually, I should follow indentation. That means after giving some space, I need to write print i. But without giving any space, I written here print i. So it will display output indentation error and next one is syntax error. I written here PRNT of 10. Actually print spelling is PRNT. But I written here PRNT. So it will display output syntax error. And next one is import error. For example, I want to import keyword module. I written here import. By using import keyword, you can import any module. And I took here module name as KEYWOD. Actually keyword spelling is KEYWOD. But I written here KEYWOD. And this module is not present, it will display import error. Guys, we also call this zero division error as arithmetic error. Whenever arithmetic error question comes in exam, you can write this example. I will explain some more built in exceptions that are present in Python. Guys, first one is name error. For example, I want to print a plus b. I given a equal to 5 and I did not given b value. Next, I return c equal to a plus b. 
and next slide print sum equal to c whenever you run this code it will display name error because it did not given value of b it will display output name error name b is not defined and next one is zero division error this is example as i already said what is zero division error we cannot divide any number by zero if we divide any number by zero then it will display zero division error for example i written a equal to 5 b equal to 0 and print a by b so you'll get output raise back most recent call zero division error division by zero and next i will explain what is value error for example, I want to perform addition. So I written here a equal to int of input of enter number, b equal to int of input of enter number. Next I written print sum equal to comma a plus b. For example, here I given a value as 23 and b value as abc. Actually I written here b equal to int of input of enter number. So I should enter only integer value. But here I given string value. So it will display error message. Value error, invalid literal for int based in ABC. That is nothing but we need to enter only integer value. And next I will explain what is index error. For example, I written A equal to I took list. List contains three elements. They are C, Java and Python. Next I written print. List item is A of 5. A of 5 is nothing but value which is present in index number 5. This C is present in index number 0 and java in index 1 and python in index number 2 and there is no index number 5 it will display index error that is nothing but index error list index out of range next i will explain key error for example here i written a equal to i took dictionaries said curly braces i took key name and value madhu and similarly another key that is location and value hyderabad so i given name madhu and location hyderabad for example, here I have written print the age is in double quotations comma a of age where this age is key. Actually, there are only two keys present in my dictionary. They are name and location. But here I given age. Actually, this age key is not present in my dictionary. So it will display key error. You get output that is nothing but key error that is age. Next, I will explain IO error. IO is nothing but input and output. For example, here I written A equal to open. I want to open one file. That file name is exam.py. And whenever I write here print A, if this file is not present in my system, then it will display IO error. Yes, this file is not present in my system. So, I will get output IO error. That is nothing but file not found IO error. No such file or directory exam.py. 